Hi everybody, welcome to our first percussion lesson. Okay, you're gonna need your practice pad and your sticks. Uh, you take the sticks out of the sleeve. I like to keep the sleeve around to just keep the sticks together. Makes it nice and easy and they can sit on a table without rolling off and things like that. So take your sleeve off of your sticks and you should have taken the practice pad out of its box. Um, they do have like a little screw mount on the bottom. We won't be using that. That's for uh, if you had a special stand for it. Uh, what I would like you to do is find somewhere uh, where you can practice your, uh, practice your percussion where you can put the pad at waist level, okay? Right around where you would, your, your belt would, would run, okay? That's, that's the same for everybody. If it's too low, uh, you'll have problems. And if it's too high, you'll also have problems. You'll be drumming like this. And, and that's not good. So I'd prefer that you stand up when you're when you're playing on your practice pad because it helps keep all the muscles in line and helps you have good technique. Uh, <clears throat> so if you can find a tabletop or a desk or something that this uh, will sit on that's about waist level, that's uh, you might have to do a little experimenting. Anyways, um, the first thing about playing percussion is how to hold the drumsticks. And there is, uh, well, it's very important that you do this uh, the right way. We call this technique, okay? Um, and I'm going to come up a little closer to the screen to show you this. So on your Vic Firth drumsticks, there's a little American flag, okay? That's where your thumb goes, all right? And so your thumb goes on the American flag. Let's see. You can see this here. I'll just do one hand. Thumb goes on the American flag, which is on the side of the stick. And then your index finger comes onto the other side, okay? And the stick sits in what I call the first knuckle. So this here, here, and here, okay? It doesn't sit back in the hand. You don't grip it like this, okay? It's not a baseball bat. It is a drumstick. So thumb on the American flag, and then put your other fingers on that first knuckle, a wrap around the side. There's a little bit of space in between my thumb and my index finger here. And <clears throat> I can tell you uh, from experience that this takes, this takes some time. You're gonna have to keep watching this because um, you're gonna have to develop some finger strength to play these uh, sticks properly, okay? To move the sticks properly. Okay, and it takes, it takes some time to develop this technique. So make sure you're always keeping track of, you know, is my thumb on the side? Okay, see that? Thumb on the side and then first knuckle wrapped around the stick. All fingers are on the stick. So I'll show you what it looks like from the bottom of my hand. Okay, notice that first finger doesn't wrap around quite as far, just kind of sits on the side. What I see happen often is Kids will get their thumb underneath the stick and that will mess up your um, rebound and your stroke on the drumstick. So you wanna make sure thumbs on the side. It's kind of like a little cradle that the, the drumstick sits in, in your hand. It's not like a grip like this, okay? So uh, you wanna make sure your thumb stays on the side of the stick, doesn't get above, doesn't get below. You also wanna make sure that your thumb doesn't get ahead of the index finger. They should be together right here, okay? You're gonna have to keep always watching this and checking yourself to make sure you're playing with good technique. It might feel a little uncomfortable right away. The more you do it, the more comfortable it'll feel, okay? So if we have our hands set up on the stick, uh, the next thing is our playing position, okay? Where your palms are flat, okay? That is what flat palms look like, okay? Notice some of the drumstick is sticking out of the back of my hand. You want some stick coming out the back, okay? You don't wanna be out on the end like that. And so remember to find that American flag, that's about the right spot for everybody, okay? All right, let's just try to move that stick alternating and hit that practice pad right in the center. Palms are flat. Okay, flat down to the ground. Elbows are not in on the body and they're not sticking out like this, okay? Usually if you imagined about a, a roll of paper towels in between your elbow and the side of your body, okay, if there was like a roll of paper towels there, 
that's about the right space. Uh, if you play like this, see that looks weird. If you play like this, not good. So also you should be standing about, if you had your, you know, the stick on your belly, uh, that's about how far away from the practice pad you want to be. Uh, you don't want to crowd it like this. That shoves my elbows back behind my body. And if I go too far out, then that's, that's not good either. Okay, you want the elbows just kind of right at the side of your body. So I'm gonna go back to this view. Like I said, it's hard to tell in the video, but I've got about a stick length between my belly and the middle of that practice pad. Okay, you can kind of see that there. So don't crowd the pad and don't get too far back. Okay, so <clears throat> last thing I'm gonna tell you about technique. Well, it's not the last thing I'll tell you. There's a lot to know about technique. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, this is my main instrument is percussion. So um, this is what I've been studying my whole life. I love it. Is that to keep the palms flat, okay? Like if I set my grip down on the practice pad, it's, it's flat to the ground, okay? And this will make sure that your sticks move straight up and down, okay? If my palms start going, if I, if I turn them in, now my sticks are going at an angle and that's just terrible, it's no good, okay? So palms flat. One thing I tell all my students is look at my thumbs here. Imagine that there was like a, <laughs> A little smiley face drawn on my thumbnails, okay? And that those smiley faces are looking right at each other, okay? They're having like a staring contest, okay? So thumbs are looking at each other. They're not tipped up like this. They're not looking up my nose, okay? So if you keep, remember, thumbs having a staring contest. It's a little hard to see on the video here. I'll go sideways and you can see my thumbnail is like pointing to the other one again on this side okay now if you're left-handed or right-handed it doesn't really matter um but just to just so you know it's typically it's typical that one hand will tend to like be easier to move the stick with than the other okay i'm right-handed so my right hand tends to tends to work a little better i have to work a little harder on my left hand because it's not as coordinated as my right hand, that's the one I write with. So if you're left-handed, your left hand will probably be a little stronger. Your right hand, maybe not as much. If you're right-handed, your right hand will probably be a little stronger. And we'll, that's something drummers uh, work on their whole lives, okay, is, is trying to get your hands to, to move the same way. All right, so let's just practice a uh, basic stroke, okay? Now, it's not arms. You don't move the stick with your arms. If I wanted to go fast and I use my arms, I'm going to burn out real quick, okay? And it's also, it's not, some people say it's the wrist, okay? And maybe you learned that um, at some point, like playing uh, ORF instruments or the metallophones or something in elementary school. That's fine. We're going to a more advanced level of drumming here. It's not the wrists. What it actually is, is fingers, okay? Your fingers really are the powerful things that move the stick. Notice my wrist moves a little bit too. That's just to open and close my fingers, okay? So it rotates around the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the thumb on the flag and the index finger. That's where the stick moves, okay? Just like on a teeter-totter, okay? That's where it moves. <clears throat> and the fingers kind of throw it. So one thing I like to do is kind of practice like I was casting a fishing rod. And just open, close, open, close. This tends to be uh, one of the trickier parts. I don't want to say it's hard, it just takes time, okay? Because you need to develop these kind of muscles that will move that stick. Kind of like a snapping motion. So make sure you don't throw them at the computer or something, you know, throw them at the wall. You don't want to stick, stick it into your wall. Okay, so a lot of times I start my students actually up like that and just opening and closing the fingers. 
let the wrist and arm just follow that. They don't need to stay stiff and not move like this. Just a little more fluid and relaxed. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the most simple uh, rudiment on the drums, which is a uh, alternating. Okay, so it just, your left hand to start with your left, your right, your left. Uh, so we're just gonna go alternating hands. Notice that, okay, you just kind of follow along me. Uh, notice my arms aren't going up and down like this. I'm really just opening and closing my hands, using the fingers to control the drumstick. My palms are flat, my elbows are out from my body. I'm not playing real soft here. I'm bringing the stick up about a foot. The length of a little ruler. To make sure my sticks hit the pad in the exact same spot every time and I also want to make sure that my drum stick is going straight up and down very important straight up and down strokes okay I'll see some kids kind of doing this swimming thing or this running thing okay you want to keep the elbows in the same spot and my hands are staying about in the same spot too a little deceiving in this video, but really when my sticks hit the drum, they're pretty much parallel with the drum pad. Okay. What you don't want to see is coming up like this. I'm exaggerating that, but even that's a little too high. That looks good right there. Sticks are flat with the pad. So let's just keep going right, left, right, left, right. And we're not going to learn any like fancy beats or anything like that today. We're just going to work on how to hold the stick and how to move the stick. Okay, this is like, if you were a painter, it'd be very important, like how you move the paintbrush on the painting. Imagine watching a famous painter, or Bob Ross or something, and it's like, it's like they can just move that perfect line. Okay, it's an artistry thing. Uh, moving the drumstick as is as artistic as any of those things, okay? It's very, very important that you get that drumstick moving really nicely and freely, okay? You got all fingers on the stick, don't have a pinkies pointing out, it's not a tea party here, okay? Keep those fingers on the stick, make sure your thumb's on the side and that you have some space in, in that area. I, my hands aren't, I don't have huge hands, but maybe a little bigger than yours, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but I have a little bit of space inside my hand, okay? And I'm staying nice and relaxed, okay? I'm not like gripping anything hard. I'm not squeezing on anything. I don't feel any tension in my muscles. That makes it so I can go a little faster, okay? If I'm making it look easy and you're struggling with this, just remember, I've been doing this my whole life. I work on this every single day. So it might look, you're probably gonna look a little bit rougher. You just, just practice every day. Okay, straight up and down. So this is just an alternating, the technical term for this is a single stroke roll. Go a little faster, right, left, right, left. Right. What you're trying to focus on is are your sticks fluid? Notice my sticks are the same stick height, my right and my left. Sometimes I'll see something like this. That's not good. We want them same stick height. The height the stick comes up is what makes the volume on the drum, okay? Higher stick height, louder sound. Smaller stick height, softer, okay? I don't ever wanna see your sticks coming up over the shoulder, okay? That's way too high. But if they come up about a foot off of the drum, that's just perfect, okay? That's like a full stroke. I'll go from the side so you can kind of see a little bit. Yep, you know, probably see that stick height. Notice it's coming up. You can probably mark it on that star on the, I'll, I'll get about the top, that star right there. Coming up the same height. Okay, so once you feel comfortable moving these uh, alternating strokes, there's different things you can do. You can go faster. Slower, okay? 
practice that for a long time. You can just sit and just feel like it flows right out of your hands, alternating strokes. Let's move on and work on double strokes, okay? That's two in each hand, okay? You can just learn this by watching me. Always practice with a steady beat, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. This is a double stroke. Slow it down a little bit. Right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Good, let's go a little faster. Right, right, left, left. Try to make each hand sound the same as the other hand. Same volume, same tone. I'm hitting right in the center of the practice pad. Helps that my arms, my hands are staying in the same position, okay? I'm not moving anything around here. I'm not going sideways and missing, okay? Nice. Let's see right, right, left, left. Double strokes. Two in each hand. Might feel a little fast right away, um, but we want to get uh, where we can play these doubles a little faster. It'll take you some time. But just for fun, I'll show you what a really fast double stroke sounds like, okay? Might be uh, six months or a year before you could do it this fast. Two in each hand. Okay, so we got our singles. Let's go back and review. Alternating, and we call this alternating because you're going right to left, or you can do, or you can call it singles, single strokes. Okay, let's go together. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Good. Now, make sure you're always looking down and seeing are your palms flat? Are your thumbs pointing at each other? Are they having a little staring contest? Okay. Also, I should note the thumb. Okay, it shouldn't go like this on that American flag and it shouldn't be like that. Just kind of natural. Like if you took the drumstick out of my hand and put a tennis ball in there, it would fit pretty good. Okay, it's just a nice curved. Okay. Sometimes I'll have my students if they're if they're get some sometimes kids will get kind of flat fingered on these sticks like this. You see, instead of curved around. So if I see kids doing that, I'll ask them, you yeah, know, that's the sock puppet party. I'll just say, imagine you had a tennis ball in your hand and you just like lightly bounced it to the ground and then it came back. Okay. You can see that's kind of more of a curved shape. Okay. And if you ever want to get those double strokes or single strokes fast, like I was doing, you'll need to make sure that's how it's all based on this technique. Okay. How you hold the stick. So, so important. Okay, so the thumb, again, it's just a natural, it's a natural position. The whole hand is in a natural position. Okay, also, I'm going to make sure my wrists are coming straight out of my arm. I'm not going to like, let's see if I can demonstrate. Some, some of my students will like bend their wrist this way, hold the stick like that. You see that? I'm just going to like whew, straight straight out from the arm the wrists are okay so let's do just always be looking down at that technique you can watch the pad imagine there was like a quarter sized circle on the pad like a you know 25 cents like a 
coin and your all of your strokes would hit in that same spot. Okay, let's go to doubles. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Now singles, right, left, right, left, right, left, doubles, go. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, and back to single strokes. Okay, I've noticed some of you aren't watching the entire videos that I'm making. So I'm gonna start doing something at the end of the videos or somewhere in the video, try to just throw a little extra fun thing out there. So if you've made it this far, rock and roll, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> this is a drum beat I learned from my uh, five-year-old nephew, okay? It was something he, he learned in elementary music and it goes, And here's how he taught it to me. It was walk the fat dog, 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 walk the fat dog. Okay. It's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, my nephew will taught that to me. Okay, if you're still watching, I'll throw you a couple other fun ones, okay? So we did singles and doubles, do four in each hand. So we can do singles, doubles, and then four in each hand. Singles, doubles, four in each hand. I'll start over. Singles, doubles, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, four. Another set of fours. One, two, back to singles. Left, right, left, right, left. Doubles go. Doubles, 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 doubles. Four in each hand. Good, cool. Um, so I just want you to work on those over and over and over uh, so you get comfy with how to move the sticks. Notice I just set my sticks here and what do they do? Oh, they roll off. So when I'm done with my sticks, okay, I'll put them in the sleeve and then I've got my percussion kit ready to go. Okay, so this week I wanted you to learn the uh, one chord on ukulele, get it tuned and, and strum on that one chord a little bit. We're going to start slow and basic. And then uh, what we learned on the, on the sticks and practice pad today. Okay, on our Zoom next week, I'll be checking in on these and I'll be wanting to see you. Uh, moving these sticks and I'll give you some tips if if you're having any troubles with that so I'll be looking forward to seeing you play those things uh, have a great weekend and enjoy playing these instruments make sure to keep them in good condition and have fun what you're doing